Welcome back to In Business. What embarrassment or danger would you risk for a shot at being a guinea pig for Google's high-speed broadband? Well, for many cities, the answer is apparently a whole lot. Last month, Google announced that it would select at least one community to test an ultra-high-speed broadband network. Now, the network would deliver the Internet at speeds up to 100 times faster than what most people use now. So that led to a can you top this competition that has had little to do with technology. Here's what we mean. One of the bids? 2,000 people in Greenville, South Carolina used glow sticks to spell out the Google logo. Taking it up a notch, the mayor of Duluth, Minnesota kicked off his city's bid by jumping into icy Lake Superior. That was just the start, though. Swimming there, you will see the mayor of Sarasota, who is not to be outdone. He swam in a tank filled with sharks. Not the kind that eat people, but certainly the kind of thing that gets you a whole lot of attention. And uh, joining us this morning to explain just why he went to those lengths is the mayor of Sarasota himself, Richard Clapp. Uh, he's here to tell us about how he's faring in this battle on what is the last day of, of bidding here. Mr. Mayor, thank you for joining us this morning. You clearly, you've got a great sense of humor, but tell me, why did you think swimming with sharks was the best thing for your constituents? <laughs> well, thank you for inviting me on. And uh, our, our constituents, uh, of course, we're, we're in a, um, a coastal city of Florida, and uh, we have uh, sharks in our bay, and we have a great facility here in town, Moat Marine, uh, that has some shark tanks. So. Uh, when people heard about the Duluth mayor jumping in Lake Superior, they said, gee, we can top that. And uh, <laughs> they thought about it a little while and they said, gee, we want the mayor in with the sharks and the tank. So I went along with it. it it's uh, <laughs> so, a good promotional thing. And uh, <laughs> it, it is promotional. Have you heard from Google? This is the last day, I believe, in bidding here. Um, so have you yeah. heard from the company? No, we, we have not. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're, we're just putting in our te technical application uh, this morning. So, uh, of course, the, the community has gathered around and nominated Sarasota many, many times. So um, we're up in the running, so we know that. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so seriously, though, I mean, explain to me why you want this high-speed broadband network in Sarasota, Florida. What is it about the demographics of your town? What is it that this would do for your local economy? Well, for, first, just to start out with, uh, we're in the Florida Technology Corridor. And like every city in the world, you know, you, we're looking to see what we can do to leverage our assets to take advantage of um, uh, technology. We, we have a number of assets in the city. Uh, I first had mentioned Ringling College of Art and Design. Um, they have uh, a, a, a lot of academic programs aimed at design. Uh, they have digital computer animation um, Mm -hmm. uh, programs and, and their students are in high demand by people like um, Pixar and Disney. Um, as a matter of fact, a number of their students worked on the recent Avatar movie. Um, oh, really? Well, they. He, uh, we do know. Well, from I was the just going to say that. Sorry, go ahead, Mr. Mayor. No, no, I was just going to say that having those assets in our city, uh, we could really use high-speed fiber to, to allow them to move their files around, their uh, film files, digital files, um, all over the country, wherever they need to be. And uh, would, that's, that's one example. So do you think this would also help you like attract new business? I mean, we're looking at the rundown here of some of the top contenders bidding um, for this attention and for this business from Google. In Minnesota, you've got other towns in there as well. Topeka, Kansas, Fresno, California. What makes Sarasota the, the yeah. place that this would work best? Well, uh, spin-off businesses from uh, Ringling College is certainly one aspect. Uh, we have a couple of companies that located here recently because of our quality of life, and, and they're involved in um, digital industries. Um, one is called Fast Pitch. Uh, they're involved in the social networking, and another one is called Integra Click. Uh, both of those companies are heavily involved in uh, internet communications. Um, both of them are fast growing. Uh, we want to keep that growth happening, and we'd like to have other other companies locate here and follow those successful examples. Um, okay. 
So uh, if you win this, are you going to go back and swim with the, with the sharks? How are you going to celebrate? <laughs> I would do that if if it, uh, if it seemed like a good thing to do. It was it was really really quite interesting swimming with those sharks, as uh, you I, might well imagine. I, I, it sounds interesting. <laughs> good work. Thank you so much. Uh, that's the mayor of Sarasota joining us today, Richard Clapp.